So I was actually just uh, watching um, this video that was talking about um, what, I'll, I'll link the video in the description of this, but the, basically uh, the woman who recorded the video, she said like, people are always saying like, fake it till you make it, or like, I'm too blessed to be stressed. And I never say that. And I think this is another one of the reasons why like, I've tried to be very transparent about like my feelings and my emotions and talking about circumstances that I'm in. Because like these women are actually being very open about like depression, virtually mental health, right? Um, and how there are days when it's like they're on the struggle bus to get up and go to work. And I think so many people, sorry, I just want you guys. So so many people, especially like they never give like black women the opportunity to um, I don't know, like show up really as their their full selves, like. This is what my point was when I was talking about, you know, how impactful the George Floyd protests were for some people, especially like black women who might have brothers or fathers who are black males and to just like hear about like murder after murder after murder and how that entire community really, like the black community was really targeted and was hurting and suffering from that. And it wasn't, everyone wasn't, every, like some people don't feel empathy when black people die. So this didn't, didn't mean something, it didn't mean something to everyone, but remember like um, the, uh, one of the women in this, in this episode, she says, yeah, but like um, the deadlines are, the deliverables are still deliverables. <laughs> and like that, and that was like the realest quote ever. Because there is this real expectation that you're supposed to go on, okay? Like, you're supposed to just be okay. You're supposed to keep keep everything moving, even as the struggle bus has got you down. And that isn't possible, okay? Like, um, this is another reason why I would just highly advocate for people to really think, especially like black women, to just think twice, three times about, man, motherhood, really, especially motherhood in America, like, another killing happened, right? Are we surprised? Didn't we just have this conversation like two hours ago? <laughs> it's just, it's gonna keep going. This is like a cycle, okay? This is like, this is called the country, like, this is how it works. Like, it's that, it's that quote, right? First they come for me, and then they come for you, and no one is immune. There's no community who's not impacted by this. If you are living in this country, you're living in a state of domestic terrorism right now. There's no, like, I don't know, no, no, no police officer here to save you, like, no, there's just, there's just nothing, right? Like, it's just like this, this cycle, of we're just watching America crumble, just day by day by day. And at least, you know, everyone is here to watch. I would encourage anyone at this point, if you are in the country, you should start filming mon monuments because they're standing today, but I don't know if they will be standing for a while. The way, the way this is running, uh, it's, not, it's not really looking positive. Um, but, you know, I really, I really do feel like everyone will find their way some way. Um, and I would just encourage you, whoever you are, to look at your own, look at yourself, right, in your own situation, and like give yourself space to feel your feelings, including sadness, including anger, including loss, including joy, pain, all of the feelings. Like you have a right to feel those feelings. It doesn't matter what anyone else says, or if anyone else agrees, or if anyone else validates it. You shouldn't really be looking to other humans to feel your feelings for you. That is literally your responsibility, and it is okay to feel unsure, to feel like not okay, basically. <laughs> like, if you feel depression, which is what many of these women were talking about, like, give black women space to feel depression. And, you know, it's okay to be on the struggle bus. Like, I've been on the struggle bus. I might be on the struggle bus right now. You won't be on the struggle bus forever, right? Like, you'll get off the struggle bus.